Hi, welcome to Chemistry 3006. I want to talk now about the chelate effect. What is it? It's another idea to help predict the solubility of metal ions in solution. Basically it goes like this. Complexes with higher dentate ligands are more stable, much more stable, if the ligands have similar coordinating atoms. For example, let's look at nickel here, aqueous nickel, prefers the bidentate ethylene diamine, NH2, CH2, CH2, NH2. So there's ethylene diamine. Uh, if we mix the metal with ethylene diamine, which is mono-coordinated with ammonium, this ethylene diamine will eliminate the nitrogens and join on. It will kick them off. Uh, and actually this picture is just the same. Uh, I don't know why that's on there twice. Um, so here we have the formation of the NH3 and then we have the formation of the nic nickel ethylene diamine. And uh, the reason for this is probabilistic. Uh, monodentate ligands reduce entropy uh, when they're more unbound. Now what does that mean? Um, well, essentially entropy is related to the fact that uh, the system distributes energy over more fragments. Let's think back to the dim dark years of first year chemistry. A gas has more entropy than a liquid. A liquid has more entropy than a solid. Why? Because the energy in a gas is more widely distributed. The particles are flowing around in, in, in a larger volume compared to a solid. So let's look at what's happening here. Here the ethylene diamine joins onto here and it kicks off two ammonia molecules. So whereas there was one ammonia molecule, sorry, one ethylene diamine molecule floating around in solution, after the reaction, there are two ammonias floating around in solution. So entropy has increased. The entropy, uh, the energy can be distributed amongst two molecules, whereas previously it was dis distributed amongst this one big molecule. Another way to think about it is, uh, let's suppose this ethylene diamine nitrogen bonds onto one of these nitrogens. It kicks one off. Once it's kicked one off, the other arm of this uh, bidentate ligand, ligand is floating around. So it has a greater chance, it has a greater probability of kicking this one out. Because once this is joined down, once that one joins onto this ammonia and kicks that off, this is whizzing around like a, like a kind of arm, and eventually uh, that arm has a greater probability of kicking onto that. So both of those ways of thinking of it are correct. This is why uh, bidentate, tridentate ligands are more stable than the corresponding monodentate ligand. Here is the equilibrium constant uh, for this process. Uh, MLN, ethylene diamine, uh, times NH3 concentration squared. We have 2NH3 here on the right hand side, written as minus 2NH3. And uh, on the left hand side we have MLN, NH3, 2 with ethylene diamine. This is the left hand side. So the chelate effect says that the concentration, equilibrium constant, concentration of MLN with the ethylene diamine is much bigger than the corresponding terms on the bottom. K is much bigger than 1. This equilibrium rise towards the right hand side. So we have three ways of understanding. The K constant, the fact that entropy, entropy increases because we're ejecting a, a whole lot of different particles in which energy can be distributed, and the probability increase of attaching one nitrogen once the other ligand end is connected. Hope you understood that. See you later.